Hello everyone, it's another study time with Tutor Joseph and in this tutorial we will be discussing on a topic computer software on the course code GST103 Last week or in the previous class you know we discussed on the topic computer hardware right this very class you'll be looking at the computer ad hardware right and as well we'll be discussing on you know different aspects all right that's the different types you know that involves in the computer software all right we want to classify the computer software as well as you know we want to uh, discuss on the operating system of the computer software ensure you bring down your writing materials your books your pen all right and let's enjoy this class GLC 103 Computer Fundamentals Alright If we can remember vividly Last time we defined a software That is, because this is our week This is week uh, 6 the, No, the 7th week of this class Alright if you can remember vividly when we started this tutorial on GST just 103, we could recall that we define hardware and software. When we define software, we said a computer software is a what? A series of instructions, alright, grouped into what? Tasks. Or what? Multiple tasks. Alright? So let's first and foremost define the word. Software. No, the topic of this of the computer software, right? Computer software. All right. Now let's define the software. What is a software? Let me write the topic. Computer software. Now, let's not define the word. Software. Alright. A software, and now I'm giving you the definition of the software, the previous class, that there are programs that enables a computer, alright, to what? To perform a task or different tasks. Those that have been watching our classes since the beginning of January would have understood. The definition and the differences between a computer software, all right, and a, a, a computer hardware. Now let me give you another definition based on the computer software, all right? The computer software, all right. Now what's the computer software? A software, all right. They are the parts of the computer, all right. They are the parts of a computer, you can say they are what? A part of the computer. Alright? A computer software can be referred to as a part of the computer. We can also say that a computer software, alright, they, they are programs. Alright? Well, there are a series of programs, alright, of coded instructions. A series of programs, alright, of coded instructions. There are a series of programs, alright, of coded instructions. Alright, according instructions 
showing the logical steps a computer follows. Showing the logical steps a computer follows. For what? To what? For the purpose of solving, uh, to solve problems. To solve logical problems. Alright? So, a computer software, they are the physical what? The physical components of the computer. Alright? They are the parts of the computer, rather. They are the parts of the computer or a series of programs of coded instructions showing what? Showing the logical what? Showing a coded instructions. Alright? Showing the logical steps. I knew I made a mistake here. I'm sorry for that. Showing a logical steps. Alright? Logical steps a computer follow to solve problem. Now, I want to take note that there are two differences between software and hardware. In hardware, they are the physical components of a computer. Alright? In hardware, alright, they are the physical components of the computer. So I think you have defined the software programs. Now, let's then classify uh, the computer software. Classification of the computer software. Classification of the computer software. Alright? Classification, yeah, I think you have to see this, of the computer software. Now, a computer software can be classified into two major parts. Alright? The first part of the, of, the, of the classification entails the system software. System software. Alright? In fact, I should not even go deeper into this because we've uh, discussed on this topic the first class when we were differentiating between computer hardware and software. I think if I recall, if I recall very, if I can recall vividly, if I recall vividly, yes, yes, we discussed, I mean the first class, the first um, class of this tutorial, all right, the first topic of this tutorial, rather, I can remember vividly, we discussed on the computer users. It's from the computer users, you know, we, we, we discussed on software, computer environments, computing system. Alright? So, let's now classify or look at the classification of computer. You know, I said they are classified into two. The first classification involves system software. The second classification involves utility software. Let's look at each of these software one after the other. Alright? The software one after the uh, other. Now, the system software are software programs that deals with writing. A software program dealing right, with writing, editing, alright, they are software programs dealing with writing, like I said, as well as editing, alright, as well as debugging, debugging, alright, and as well as running of, as well as running of user programs. Running of user programs. So that is the classification of the computer software. Alright? Now, another classification of a computer software includes operating, operating system. Operating system. Now, what is the aspect of the operating system?
system, all right, or your credit software. There are softwares, all right, there are software programs that act as an interface between the computer user, a program or a software program, all right, that acts as an interface, a software program that acts as an interface, all right, between the computer users and the world computer hardware. The act of an interface between the computer users, all right, the user of the computer, that is the computer user. Don't forget, last time, like I said, the first class, with one of our class, who are the users? The users are those, you know, we have two type of users, we have the expert users, the casual users. Not to waste much of our time, we can, we can you know, return back to that, the first week of the class. The expert users are the, um, the, the, the computer programmers. Why the casual users are who? We are the casual user. It's more like um, the producers and the um, the producers and the um, customers, you know, in um, economics or in commerce, producers and customers or clients or consumers, rather. All right. So not waste much of our time. You can go back. You can talk back to the previous class to watch, you know, uh, the definition of the computer users. So there is software programs that act as an interface between the computer users and the physical part of the computer, the computer hardware. Alright? The computer hardware. So, these are two classifications of the computer. Alright? The classification of the computer. Alright? And I want you to take note that the operating system, alright, operates in two goals. They operate in two goals. The secondary goal as well as the primary goal. Now, on the primary goal, alright, let me, let me see if I can write it here. Two goals. It involves, let me make it as A. Primary goal of the two goals of operating system. On the primary goals, yeah, you can see this. On the primary goal of the computer system, all right, it operates, all right, it operates as a result of the convenience of the user. Operates for what? Operates for the purpose. Of the user, all right. The, the the primary goal is to ensure that what this operating system uh, enables the user of the what of the software, you know, to to make the, the, the to make the the using of the computer easier for the users. All right. So it operates for the purpose or for the convenience of the user. And the second aspect is what we refer to as the secondary goal. The secondary goal. Now, on the aspect of the secondary goal, it operates as a result of an efficient operation of the computer system. Operates as an efficient operation of the computer system. Alright, so that was on the aspect, alright, yeah, that's on the aspect of the classification. So next, 
we are going to discuss on the types of operating system. Alright? So let's write a short note on this before um, I clean the board, before I you know, wipe the board. Let's write a note on this, alright? On our in our books. my dust up. Okay, uh, not to waste much of our time, all right. Okay, now the types of computer software. Types of computer software. Alright, the types of computer software. The first type of, no, rather, sorry, the types of operating system. Rather, we are still talking under operating system. Sorry. The type of operating system of operating system. Alright. The first type of operating system is what we know as well the batch processing operating system. Please don't waste much of our time. I'll be writing operating system as this. So if you see this, it means operating system. Alright. I'll shorten it as this. O star for operating, S star for system. Alright, so the bad processing operating system. I hope you understood what is this. Alright. The bad processing operating system. Now, this don't forget the operating system involves the world, the users. The primary goal is to make the world, the users, to do what? To be convenient or what? On making use of the Part of the computer, all right, to be able to work, make it of the computer. I mean, to be able to handle the computer in a convenient way. All right. So now the batch the batch processing operating system enables the users to first and foremost. Let me write this as on um, A. So the first and foremost it enables the users. Let me write this like, like this. Enables the user 
enables the user to perform the following task. Alright, one, submitting of what? Jobs. Submitting of, you know, submitting of jobs, alright, to a central place. To a central place. Alright, two, for the purpose of collecting the jobs into a batch. Collection or collecting those jobs into a batch. Number three, <coughs> number three, for placing the jobs on an input queue for the computer to run. Placing a job Placing the job, placing the job on an input queue. Queue, yeah. For the computer to run. Alright. Placing the job on an input queue for the computer to what? To run. So these are the words. They are the, uh, the, 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 you know, the, the task, the task in which this type of computer, this type of operating system enables the port, the, uh, the user, the computer user to perform. Submit those jobs to a central place, collect those jobs into a batch, Place the job on an input queue for the computer to run. Another, so now B, another type of operating system involves a time sharing operating system. The time sharing operating system. Don't forget I told you this is of operating system all heads. So now I'm not going to waste our time to reduce the time factor. Alright. Now, it enables the user, let's write this again, it enables the user to perform the following task. It enables the user to perform the following task. Alright? And here are the tasks. The first, sharing a central processing memory. Alright? Sharing a central processing memory. Alright? Another task involves, alright, um, you know, for the purpose, you know, in a controlled fashion, it, it enables the users to organize, alright, and monitor the what operating system. Monitoring, monitoring, organizing, and controlling, alright. And controlling the operating system. Operating system. Alright. By the what? By the user. Monitoring, organizing, and controlling the operating system. Alright. What? Controlled by the user. Alright. And the we move down to the third access, the third <coughs> type, which include the real time operating system. Real time operating system. Please don't forget what I said here. Operating 
system. All right. Here, they are the operating system designed to meet the immediate attention of the computer system. An operating system designed to meet an operating system designed to do what? To meet the immediate attention the immediate attention of the world or the computer system. Of the computer system. So the real time operating system is a system designed to meet the immediate attention of the computer world, of the computer system. Alright? Now let's write short on all this before, you know, before we move down to the um, the fourth type, we have other types, we, we, we see have other types of operating system. We involve multi multi-programming operating system, distribute operating system, network operating system, and uh, the whole lot more. Alright, so let's write short note on this. Alright, let's write note on this quick, not to waste much of our time. Okay, let me um, brighten the you note, know, please. Sorry for the. Um, right, thank you. Okay, yeah. So, the to, this, this will be the last, um, the last section. I mean, what we're written here will be the last section. Of this class, you know, we are moving to another. I'm moving to another class. You know. So, so I think we just finish the we just discuss on the um the third type. The third type, alright, the third type of um, operating system. Now, the fourth, which is D, alright, the fourth type of operating system include the multi programming operating system. Multi programming. Operating system, multi programming 
operating system. Now, on the multi-program operating system, it allows more than one active user program to be stored in the main memory simultaneously. It allows more than one active user program. Alright? One active user program. Alright? Active user program to be stored in a main memory simultaneously. To be stored. In the main memory simultaneously. Alright. And E. Alright. So that's that sort of multi programming operating system. Now, the fifth include the distribute operating system. Distribute. Operating system. Distribute operating system. This is an operating system that operates, alright, or appears as a traditional uniprocessor system. It appears, alright, there are system that appears as a traditional as a traditional uniprocessor, all right, uniprocessor system, as a traditional uniprocessor what system, all right, despite its composure of multiple, despite its Composure of multiple, all right, processor. So that means on this aspect, all right, the uniprocessor system, the distributed operating system, involves a uniprocessor system, a traditional, a a single, all right. It involves, you know, I mean, a main uniprocessor system. Alright, a primary uniprocessor system. Despite as it is what? It is being composed. I mean the composure of the what? Of its processor, you know, and tells what? A multiple processor. Alright. And lastly, not the least, we have the network operating system. The network operating system. They are operating system that needs a network interface controller. An operating system that needs a network, a network. Interface, they need a network interface controller and some low level software to achieve and, and some low level software. All right. To achieve, to achieve a remote login or remote file, a remote. Let's make it a file. So on this aspect, they enables the user, right? In the network operating system rather needs it makes of an, a network interface, alright? A network interface controller. For the purpose of you know making the world, making 
the, uh, the user, you know, the, making the, uh, the, 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 the user of the what? Of the system convenient, all right, in operating the computer. And as well, and what? On, it involves some low level software to achieve a remote file or and login and remote login. So we have come to our end. We've come to our end to this tutorial on the sixth week on GST 103 Computer Fundamentals. Ensure that um, all these classes are being taken very serious and once, uh, once it's been written down, alright, ensure that you go back to the class, alright, and you know, take a look at it once more. In National Open University of Nigeria, you need someone, you know, you need a guy, a trusted guy, you know, who will guide you in courses because examination, the way, you know, the way the lecturers have now set the examination, in fact, it should be one of the best, I mean, now examination should be one of the difficult, you know, one of the, um, um, I would like to put this way, let me just make this English, one of the difficult, one of the difficult um, examination set by the lecturers. Alright, I'm looking for a word. There's a word that, in fact, I don't know why it's, as it's coming to my mind, it's keeping my mind. There's a word in there to be said here. Alright? So, um, so ensure that this class has been taken. After this class, you return back to your uh, books. Alright? And ensure you take the class very serious. For those who are not, you know, for those who are not interested in this class, um, ensure you meet up with your facilitator. Now, like I said, facilitator is different from tutorial. This is a tutorial by Tutor Joseph. Alright? Facilitation is conducted by your facilitation on Zoom or on your portal. Alright? On your portal. Now, facilitator the, and the, um, the um, Lecturers, let me just put the name, facilitator. I don't think they will make use of YouTube channel. So please don't call me as a facilitator. I'm a tutor. Alright? Like a guide to you. This is uh, my own um, streamline of business. Thank you for having me today in your class. Like I said, ensure you take the classes serious and um, I will give an assignment today. I want us to take a look because tutor mark assignment is coming very closer. TME, the tutor mark assignment is you know at the corner. So students are preparing for their TME, alright, and some other aspects. Alright, for other tutorials, right, those who want to reach me out, I used to see comments on my YouTube. Now how can I reach you out, Mr. Joseph? So this is my digit number. You can reach me out here. This are my number. This is my number, rather. So you can reach me out. If you want to get, you know, the classes and other tutorials on different courses. All right. Thank you for having me today. To enjoy more of our classes, to receive updates on courses on general studies course and different classes ensure you subscribe to our youtube channel and you can as well share our classes if you enjoy this tutorial class you can share to students for a lot of students you know to be able to um, um, to be able to you know enjoy this class thank you for reaching me out and have a lovely day. Goodbye.